Uh, we have a guy on the radio. Uh, no, we're streaming live. Man, my mind is absolutely goofy. I'm about as goofy sometimes as Ted Hendricks. Is that you out there, Ted? Yeah, sure am. <laughs> <laughs> I am just mumbling and stumbling here. I'm so glad to come on. Have, have you come on board? And and of course, uh, I, I believe every football fan knows who we're talking with here. Uh, 15 years in the National Football League. Of course, he spent time with the Colts and one year with the Packers, and of course, the Oakland Raiders. We called him the Mad Stork, and I had an opportunity to play against Ted my whole career. And uh, how you doing down there? I guess you're down in Tampa, right, uh, Ted? Yes, I am. I'm out on the golf course, and it's drizzling out here. Oh man, what hole you on? Uh, we started on 13, and we're uh, on 17 right now. Ted, who are you playing with down there? Actually, uh, it's Paul Krause's tournament. A bunch of our Hall of Famers are out here. I'm with uh, Leroy Kelly and Roger Worley. Ah, fantastic. Yeah. Hey, we got uh, we got Fred Hubner in in studio with us today. Ted, of course, a longtime score guy and so forth. Uh, and uh, you probably have had a you had an interview with. Uh, I think we probably Scott? had yeah. him on in, in in years past. And you know, Ted, it, this time around, you, you you see Super Bowl time and and uh, all the great athletes getting together and down in Florida. And obviously, that's a great thing. But we're looking at some of your stats. Four time Super Bowl champ. And I'm looking at the stat here, and I, it was hard for me to believe it was true. Twenty five block kicks. I know you're a tall guy, but there had to be some kind of secret be, besides being tall to get all these block kicks in your career. Right, they studied the film and uh, saw the weakest link in their line, and that <laughs> went, uh, went over. And that's back when you could hit the go over the center too. Well, that helped a lot. I know the Bears have a guy, Israel Adonage, who pro- probably blocks a couple each uh, each and every uh, season. But you know, you sixty and a half sacks, and I'm looking at your stats, and you just spent one year in Green Bay. But you know what? You sure made the best of it, didn't you? Yeah, I sure did. I had one of my wonderful years there, and the fans were just fantastic up there at Green Bay. The other thing about the block kicks, uh, we had Matt Millen in there, and uh, he got such a good push for us that he blocked a kick himself. He was only 5'11". <laughs> good old Matt. Did you get an assist on that one? Yeah, and uh, uh, he uh, it was... It's phenomenal that he would be the guy that blocked the kick. <laughs> we got such a good push on the on the guy that we were going over that uh, uh, he, he was back in the backfield there and, and, and blocked the kick. Ted, what do you think about these uh, steer linebackers here? Uh, they're pretty good. Matter of fact, uh, Lamar Woodley, uh, won, I have an award out for the best defensive end in college football, and he won it uh, two years ago. So I was really happy to see him do so well. And that kid, Harrison, uh, to be uh, not drafted in the league. And they've got a, uh, a defensive back also that wasn't drafted. In that. And uh, they got a real strong defense. So what? I look forward to put a lot of pressure on the Cardinals this, this game coming up. I know it's only Friday and you've had a lot of rain down there. When I was watching Mike and Mike in the morning on ESPN and so forth, uh, I see a lot of umbrellas around. So you say it's raining right now. It's what's the chilly down here, too. Yeah, what's the forecast for Sunday? <laughs> what's that? You know what the forecast is for Sunday? Yeah, it's going to be sunny. This thing's going to blow through this afternoon. Ah, terrific. But it kind of uh, spoils your golf game down there a little bit, huh? Well, we're used to playing in any kind of weather. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you and Robin <laughs> golf all summer from what I hear. Oh, yeah. This is... This is easy. <laughs> you know, I'm listening. I'm listening to you talking about Lamar Woodley and some of the other guys in the Steelers. It's got to be difficult for a former Raider to to be pulling her back in the Steelers, isn't it? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they were our arch rivals, but uh, out of respect, you know, they were had a good team, and uh, so did we. So we had some great rivalries back when I was playing. What do you think about Brian Urlacher? I mean, he had a down year this year. He hasn't made a Pro Bowl in two years. Do you think he still has it, or do you think he's kind of lost a step and isn't no, the player he was? Still there. Look at uh, Ray Lewis. You know, he had a couple bad years, and look what he did this year with, for Baltimore. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, he'll be back. Uh, Urlacher will definitely be in there. And uh, uh, he just had an off year, that's all. Gotcha. Hey, Ted, uh, give us a little inside scoop. Uh, where are some of the good parties you've been so far this week? <laughs> <laughs> well, they, the Moves Magazine had a nice has a nice party every year at the Super Bowl. 
Ah. And, uh, yep, and uh, uh, a lot of the current players and former players get to go to that. And uh, they had it at a real nice club here in... Uh, Beautiful. In Tampa, and uh, uh, they had a wonderful uh, setup, and uh, it, it was roomy enough that it wasn't crowded. Wasn't crowded, yeah. Yeah, Playboy canceled their party, I heard, this year. What's that? I heard Playboy canceled their annual big Super yeah, Bowl party did. this year. Yeah, there was a lot of cancellations, and uh, I heard the NFL gave 500 rooms back, too. No kidding. Yeah, I heard it uh, uh, two weeks prior to the Super Bowl, Ted, that uh, only 60% uh, had been booked, uh, which is very unusual for a you know Super Bowl because it's usually booked 100 percent or usually 120 percent. You know how you know how they like to do that, and uh, it you know I mean it just shows the time in the economy. But you're right, uh, if you can go to a nice uh, function without having people stepping all over you, and man, we've been in those times before, and it, it, it's very very uncomfortable, and. Uh, I had an opportunity to uh, attend a couple of Super Bowls, never got to play in one, of course, but uh, I always felt that uh, the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday leading up to the Super Bowl was the best time. Heck, the game is just kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> Ted, what do you think about this Raiders coaching thing? Do you think they should keep the current coach or they should look in another direction? Uh, I, no, I think that uh, uh, Tom Cable did an excellent job last year and I, I, my feelings are they, they shouldn't make a change because uh, they, they have enough changes in there already so uh, I think that's one of the things that they should keep keep the continuity going you ever so, thought about getting back in team, they, yeah. they kept Tampa Bay out of the playoffs by, by beating them down in Tampa so uh, that's right yeah so they're looking forward to you know uh, keeping that momentum going next year how tough is it for a, for a former Raider to see the the hard times that they've fallen on over the last several years? Uh, it's been real hard on all the fans, and uh, uh, they're they're still in support of the Raiders, though. But uh, they they uh, it gets to them, you know. They, but they had something to cheer about there in that last game, so. Next year, they're looking forward for a better team. I know you're a big, strong guy, the Mad Stork and all that stuff, but I, I think even you might be a little hesitant to stroll into the black hole in Oakland, wouldn't you? <laughs> no. Actually, there's a lot of PhDs. In- <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, all those goofy guys dressed in motorcycle outfits and spikes. and Yeah, Dr. Dre. Yeah. <laughs> Fred, you were telling me this morning about Ted as we were pulling up some information on you, Mister Hendricks. Well, yeah. About you, you what, what is this? Uh, you'd rather sit around and solve math? Uh, yeah, well, that's what it says here. I'm looking here at Wikipedia. It says here, Hendricks, a physics major at UM, was well known for relaxing by doing math problems. I have a hard <laughs> enough time with Sudoku, and you relax with math problems. Come on. Right, I do Sudoku too. Do you? <laughs> I got a I got a math problem for you to fix our economy. There you go. Yeah. The, uh... I was really good with numbers, and uh, uh, and I had a math uh, degree and physics degree uh, going into the University of Miami. I actually had a scholarship for academics, so uh, that was really nice that the, the university offered me that, too, along with my friends.